Hey ladies, so it's about 11 o'clock tonight and I wanted to show you a quick demonstration of how to take a day eye into an evening eye. And I'm still wearing my daytime eye here. Um, I put my makeup on at about nine o'clock this morning and like I said, it's about 11 o'clock tonight. So um, our makeup does stay for a very long time, which I love. You don't have to reapply throughout the day. I removed my eyeshadow from this eye, kept my um, mascara and I'm going to transfer this eye into a daytime eye and then take it into an evening eye and you can see the difference of how you can compare there. So if you wore your makeup to work all day and you come home and say you're going out for the evening, you don't have to remove it all. You can just doll it up a little bit more. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, so I'm taking eyeshadow palette number three. Um, this has a great mix of purples and pink tones, a little bit of bronze tones in there, and, and they're matte and shimmer colors. So they work really well for being able to go from day to night. Um, so what I'm going to take here is I'm going to start actually with a really good tool. This is our liner shader brush and tools make all the difference. You want to make sure you have good brushes because you're not going to, you know, paint a masterpiece with rocks. You're going to use some good tools. You're going to use good brushes. So you're making a masterpiece on your face. Use good tools. It's very important. I'm going to be taking color determined. Um, it's kind of this grayish taupey tone and I'm going to be using the um, shader side of the brush. And I'm going to be just applying it all across my lid here. So, and when you apply it over your lid, you don't want to sweep it completely across. You actually just want to kind of do kind of dabbing motion. Um, that's better. That'll help keep the powder from falling all over. And it also doesn't pull at your lid so much. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into some of the deeper colors, a little bit darker here. I'm going to, you can either go with Flippant, which is a little bit more purple, or you can even take ecstatic or tickled. I'm actually gonna do a mixture of all three. I might just take a little bit of all three. And I'm just going to go into the crease area and out in a sort of a V formation. And just to give a little bit more depth to that area there. Okay. And so it's a little, probably a little bit darker than I'd want to go for daytime. So you can do one, two things. You can just take your finger and kind of just blend there. Or if you have kind of a fluffier brush like this, you can just blend that way. And for a daytime look, you don't even have to do anything else. That can pretty much be it. Um, what you may want to do is maybe a little bit of a liner. So you can come back with the other side of the brush, which is, if you can see here, it's a little shader brush, or sorry, liner side of the brush. And you can maybe take um, this darker purple cheeky and maybe just go to just the outer edge of your lash line and maybe just a little bit into the top lash line there. And there you go, you've got your daytime eye. Really simple, easy to do. Um, so end of the, the work day or just end of the day, you're gonna go out for the evening and you don't wanna have to wash your face and start all over again. Well, you don't have to. Just grab your palette again and let's doll up. Let's make it a little bit more of a nighttime eye. So let's come into your darker shades here and we're gonna add more into the crease. So you can go with cheeky or you can even go with irate. I might take just a little bit cheeky, maybe just a dab of irate and mix them a little bit together. You can do that, that works really well. And then you're just gonna go into the crease area here a little bit more. And every eye shape is a little different. So, you know, some eyes, if they're a little hooded, you actually want to come above the crease line so it looks like you're creating a crease. Um, myself, I have a little bit more of a um, deep set eyes, so mine's a little bit more prominent. And then, so I made that a little bit more dramatic there. Um, next, what I'm going to do is I'm, oh, and I used a crease brush for that. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to this color Smitten, which is this kind of iridescent shade here. And I'm gonna pick some up on my brush and I'm actually gonna go into the corner of my eye and that's gonna open and brighten the eye a little bit more, make it look a little bit more wig. Um, forgot that I still had some of that shadow on before. Let's take that off. Still had some of that darker shadow. I don't want that inside to look very dark. And then you could just come along the upper brow and add that as a highlight. Then what I like to do is just blend a little bit more. And you can add as much of this darker tone as you like, um, just to make it that much more dramatic. Um, and then what I like to do is you can take your liner shader brush, but the liner side, come into the color irate, and we're gonna add, we're gonna go really 
bold. Okay, now just don't mind me. I am using my phone as my mirror here. And you're going to just go a little bit more dramatic. What you want to do is you just want to take that again into the lash line. And you can even come up a little bit. I'm going to close my eye and do this. It's just a little tricky to do without having a mirror and using your phone. All right. So creating a little bit more of a drum eye, a little kind of a smoky eye. And if you want to, you can even go into this crease a little bit more. Just make it that much more dramatic. And get in as close to the lash line as you possibly can. That's just going to make your eyes pop a little bit more. It's going to make that black a little bit more or make your lash line look a little bit more vibrant. And then again, I'm just going to blend a little bit more in there. Holy moly, I just got ugh, makeup all over me because I used the wrong brush. All right, so if that happens, not the end of the world. Believe me, I have done this many of times. Give me one second. All right, let's clean up a little bit. Take a little Q-tip. And I'm actually gonna take a little primer. A little eye primer works really well. Should have paid more attention to what I was doing. Here we go here. All right. So our eye primer is phenomenal for so many different things. Um, it primes the skin and gets it ready for makeup. But also it can act as a little bit of a corrector if you make mistakes. It's great if you do liquid eyeliner and you happen to mess up. You can always go back with some primer on a Q-tip and just clean it up. All right, so we just cleaned it up there. And if you want to add um, a little bit of a pressed powder underneath to clean it up too, that's not a bad idea. You can take a little bit of a pressed powder and you can even take it with a sponge or a brush. Sometimes it happens to me, I get in a real big hurry and I will put makeup on and um, Really the best trick to do is to do your eye makeup and then do your foundation afterwards um, so that if you do get any dusting of powder underneath, you can easily kind of cover that up with foundation. But if you do your foundation, your concealer, and then you do your eye makeup and you get it done in there, it tries to mix with your makeup a little bit more. But as you can see, if I was going to day to night time and I didn't want to take everything off, you can use a little primer and touch it with some pressed powder and you're ready to go. So we have our daytime eye nighttime eye, daytime, nighttime, daytime, nighttime. Ah, oh, going to work, yay, going out with the girls. So, you know, it, it allows you to take that transformation and just turn it up a notch and you're ready to go out. So I wanted to share that with you guys. If you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks, bye.